Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you the best technology upgrades for your freighter because in the endurance upgrade update, they added a ton of new stuff for your freighter. So these are the best things that I found that I think are the most useful in the endurance update for No Man's Sky. So let's get to our freighter. We are on our freighter now. And the first thing, the first thing that's the best is Remember, we used to have to walk all the way up the staircase and go into our, uh, oh, what is that called? The bridge for, uh, you know, to interact with anything. But now there is a teleporter right here that actually takes you right to the bridge, right to the uh, cockpit right here. Boom. There you go. It's amazing. And if you want to go back to your ship, go right back in there. Instantaneous right back in there. It's amazing. I love this thing. But the next feature is all the new upgrades we got for our freighter. So come over here. You know, this gigantic uh, module in the middle of your bridge. There's an upgrade control panel right here. Let's go into here. Now you can add additional storage. Of course, you can always make your, uh, your freighter bigger. You can't increase the uh, class of it yet. So if you have like a, a B class or an A class, you cannot improve that. But you can always add more storage to your freighter. Right now, it's maxed out at 48 inventory slots for your general technology or general inventory. Your technology is maxed out at 21 and your cargo is maxed out at 24. So you can only get up to 24 in your cargo and that's it. Those are the three categories you can increase for that. But we could pop back in there and let me show you the base parts and upgrade pages in your freighter. So we, this is our normal upgrade page. This is where you would get all your normal stuff. The only thing they've added to this specific page is the interstellar scanner. So now when you're using your freighter in order to, you know, travel between different systems, now it'll give you the economy and the conflict, just like an economy scanner and a conflict scanner on your regular ship. Your freighter now has that ability as well. You need to buy it. You're going to need one salvage frigate module in order to do that. You need to use salvage frigate modules in order to buy any of these upgrades. But then we have our next page, which is our freighter construction module. So these are all the new pieces they've added to the freighter. That way you can make a cool, awesome base. The bigger ones that I'm gonna point to, you have all this cool stuff here, but the bigger one is the teleport chamber. This allows you to teleport to and from your freighter. So now basically your freighter is a moving base. I love this, this is amazing. And then the other one that's really, really important is the uh, Stellar Extractor Room. This actually allows you to extract minerals and uh, materials from the atmosphere just on your freighter by itself. I will show you that a little bit later, but we have all kinds of cool stuff in here. You can build pl walkways and platforms outside that way you can go out and walk on the outside in space on your freighter, which is awesome. They also give you a, a fleet command room. We already had that. These are basically more condensed down versions of, hey, we had a room before, but now we're going to make it really cool and sleek. And I'm going to show you how to do all of that stuff. But these are the cool things that you can get for your freighter. So once you've gotten all that stuff, all, once you've unlocked it, again, you need salvage frigate modules in order to do that. But once you've done that, we have a new building area just for your base on your freighter. And this is what I've been doing so far. I love this thing. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the scanner. We also have a scanner now. You have a scanner built into your freighter, which is awesome. So the way this works is if I have, you know, discoveries, you know, if you go into the system and you don't know where any of the planets are, like, let's go to a system and I'll show you exactly how that scanner works the planetary probe works so because i've built in my conflict and my economy scanner into my freighter i could see the economy i've never been to the system but now i can see it's a two-star economy and it's a level one conflict uh system which is awesome i love that let's go over here i've never been to the system before this is another feature we have a new uh animation that's not working because it's a bug your, your freighter is supposed to sway in and out. It's kind of moving, I guess. <laughs> but that is a new uh, animation for your freighter. So now we're here. First contact. We've never been to this one. So if I go to my discoveries, 
Look at all these planets are unknown. I have no idea. I've never been there. So what you would normally do is you would scan it with your starship. You'd have to manually look at it and perform a scan. But if you're on your freighter, all you have to do is activate the planetary probe right here. It'll scan all the planets for you. So now look at that. We know where all these planets are. So I know this is a flourishing planet, uh, Sable Delta. It looks like a purple one. I'm going to have to go check that out later on. But we have all these. We know all the details about every single planet. And if we wanted to, we could actually rename and upload it right now. So right now it's only in my inventory. It's only in my database. But if I upload it, I could just say, you know, call this thing Jason's purple planet. And then boom, I just uploaded that to the No Man's Sky server. So now it is Jason's purple planet. I love this thing. This is an amazing new update in the endurance update. But the better thing is, look at this thing. Look at this beautiful. We have a teleporter. So now we can use this thing to go anywhere we want. Oh, maybe. Come on. It's there it goes. Oh, it's being, it's being fussy. Again, there are some bugs in this game. Come on. I saw it earlier. There we go. So <laughs> when you can actually get the right angle again, there are going to be bugs in this game. They're going to be patching them out soon, hopefully soon. But there you go. So now I can use this just like a teleporter on a space station or your base. So you can teleport to and from your freighter. This is amazing. I love that. We also have a marketplace. Now we can actually buy and sell stuff from your freighter again just like a base this is gonna be so insanely overpowered once you get you know and it sells it based on the the system inventory so if you're in a good economy you're gonna be better off than if you're in a bad economy so it's just like a, a normal trading outpost system or trading a uh, terminal i should say we also have like the weapons terminal for your base so you can get your your armor in here you can also get your construction terminal terminal for your overseer your science terminal for your scientists. You get all of that stuff. But the better part, the more important thing, let me show you guys a really good one. We have our refiner right here. So we can actually, just like a large refiner, you can do any of your refining in here and you're good to go. But the better thing is, look at this. Stellar extractor. Let's get over here. Let me show you this. So. It depends on which system you're in. If you're in a yellow class star system, basically a yellow star system, you will get yellow materials. If you're in a blue, if you're in a green, if you're in a red, you will get different materials based on which star system you're in. And you, th you think, oh, it only makes 15 per hour. That kind of sucks. Like right now, it's been going for a few minutes and I have three chromatic metal. But you guys, this is all working and these are all independent. So like this one right here, I have five in this one. Let me take it out. And then if I go to my next one, I have one. So this one's already been going for one. I'll go over here. One, look at that. We have a whole bunch. So I placed a whole bunch of them. I'm going to be farming a ton of materials. Now I do hope that in a future like patch or update, they link them all together because right now they're all separate. So you have to go to each individual extractor in order to pick up your materials, which kind of sucks. But I mean, look at that. Boom, five on that one, done. But this will all add up. So you come back after a couple hours and you will have a ton of chromatic metal or whatever material you want. So you, depending on your system, again, you'll get some sulfurine, some radon, some nitrogen. Chromatic metal seems to pop up a lot, so I'll get a whole bunch of chromatic metal. And it's just doing it automatically. You don't even have to do anything with it. Like, watch. If I wanted to place one of these, let's do a uh, uh, stellar extraction room right here. Boom. And if I wanted to just put it down right there, it takes silver, gold, and magnetized ferrite. I put it down. It just instantly starts working right off the bat i don't have to i don't have to plug it in i don't have to power it because your freighter provides the power for it which is amazing so i get in here and it'll just say hey look in three minutes you'll have some chromatic metal because you're in a yellow 
class stellar you know system so i love that that is those are some of the most amazing things the more important upgrades to your freighter that you could do i mean there's so much you could do here there are so many cool features now in your freighters guys hopefully you guys are building on your freighter we now have mobile bases i love it hopefully you guys like the video if you did hit that like button and i will see you guys in the next one